Hi, in this video we're going to be talking about the Google Appointment Schedule and Booking feature. So this will allow you to create a schedule that is placed on your Google Calendar and then you could send out a link to that schedule and then other people can book appointments on your calendar itself based on the available times that you specify. Okay, so we have this one account here. This is Todd. So we're in his calendar here. So we're going to go to the Create button. Click on Appointment Schedule. Okay, so we need to add a title here. So I'll say PC repair. Appointment duration, how long should each appointment last? You have your defaults, you can set custom. All right, and then your availability. So by default, it makes Sunday and Saturday unavailable, and then it makes Monday through Friday nine to five. But let's say we don't want to work on Friday. So we'll make that unavailable. You can see it removes it from that. And let's say on Thursday, we're only going to be open till 4. Monday, we open at 10. Then you could also add another period to this day. Copy time to all. Then you have your time zone here you could change if needed. Uh, your scheduling window. So when you want to start. And then you could end it if you want as well. Otherwise, it's just going to keep on repeating it. So if you click on this, then you could put an end date. So let's say we're going to end on November 11th. Because like I said, if you don't put an end date, you're just going to find it repeated forever on your calendar. And that might not be what you want. Okay, so now the maximum time in advance that appointment can be scheduled. Default is 60 days. And then time before the appointment. So they could do four hours in advance by default. So we're just going to leave these for the sake of demonstration. You can change the date's availability. Uh, you could have a buffer time, so let's say you want to have a 30-minute break between each appointment. You could set that. So right there, you would check the box and pick your duration and how many bookings per day you want at the most. Otherwise, it's just going to fill up all the time slots with no breaks in between. And then guests can invite others if you want to enable that. And then what calendar you want to put it on. Okay, click on Next. Okay, so your booking page and photo name. So by default, it'll use your name and your profile picture for Google here. And then for your meet preferences, you could do a Google meet conference, in-person phone call or nothing. We'll do in-person. Okay, there's our make-believe address here. And then you could put a description if you want. Okay, and then we could even add a link if we want to our website. And here's our booking form. So they will need to put in their first name, last name, and email address. And those are required. You could add another one here. If you want them to add a phone number or custom item here, let's do phone number. And you can make it required if you want. All right, then we have our booking confirmations and reminders. So you and the person who made the appointment will get a confirmation email with a calendar invitation. So for the free plan, you only get one booking page. And I don't think you could do email reminders or extra email reminders unless you have one of the uh, pay for plans. All right, so we'll click on save. All right, so here's a summary of our booking page. PC repair, 60-minute appointments, address, description, booking form, and the name. So you can either share your booking page from here or click on open booking page. And this will show you the dates here. So here's our times and our days that we selected here. And then we could share from here as well. And you could also embed it on your website so you could copy the link. And now we're going to email this link. Okay, we'll send this to Cindy. And then we'll send it to a different Todd. All right, so schedule your PC repair now. So we'll send that off. And then we'll go over and check it in their email. Okay, so here's Cindy. And then here comes our Outlook notification as well. All right, so we'll schedule Cindy here first. So here's the link we pasted in. So Cindy can now click on this link, open up the booking page. And let's say she wants to book something on the 15th at 10 o'clock. Optional phone number. Then she gets a summary here, booking confirmed. Then she could just close it. And then if we go to her calendar, you could see it puts it on her calendar automatically for her. All right, let's try it from this guy here. So this is an Outlook account.
let's do 12 o'clock on the 14th. We'll skip the phone number. And now that's been scheduled. Okay, so now we're back in the calendar of the person who created the booking schedule. And you can see here at 10 o'clock, they have a appointment there with Cindy. And then at 12 o'clock on the 14th with the other Todd here. And you can see it looks a little different. It still has the same title as the booking itself, but it doesn't have this little icon here. So this is just showing you your main booking schedule. So if we go back to our booking schedule, you can see the 10 o'clock slot is gone and the 12 o'clock slot is gone because those have been taken. And so if you send this to somebody else, those slots will be gone too because they've already been reserved by other people. And so if you need to get back to your booking page, an easy way to do is just to find an entry in your calendar here and click on open booking page. And then you can edit it from there. And now that you see we've created this booking page, if we go back to appointment schedule, we could see we can't do it again because we only have the free plan and you could only do one booking page with the free plan. So just keep that in mind. So if you do create one, just be aware that it's going to be the only one you're able to use unless you sign up for a premium plan here. And then again, if you already have one of the premium plans, then you should be able to make more than one. All right. Thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe. Mm -hmm.